Hi, I'm Christian from MakeUseOf.com and this is a Tinkerbot, a Lego compatible, smartphone controllable, programmable robot from Kinematics GmbH. Tinkerbots come in kit form and comprise a number of standard blocks. These yellow things here are cubies, uh, some wheels and axles, uh, Lego compatible adapters and programmable motors. We've got one here at the bottom. We're taking a look at the 295 Euro advanced builder kit, which includes enough pieces for five instructed builds. Despite the name, however, this is Robots for Kids, aimed at six-year-olds and above. Uh, I tried the kit with my son, Bruce, who is five, and he got loads out of it, so older kids should also benefit. At the core of the Tinkerbots kit are four blocks. There's the motor for driving your projects, there's the twister, which gives a 180 degree rotation. There's the pivot for left and right turning. And there's this, the power brain. This is a Bluetooth enabled, USB compatible, rechargeable battery with a mini computer inside that is programmable. It's here that the magic happens, whether that might be programming the pivot or connecting with your smartphone and remote controlling your creation using the Tinkerbots app for iOS or Android. Building with the Tinkerbots kit is a little tricky, especially if you come into this expecting Lego compatibility, which is pretty minimal. Aiming to stay sturdy, the Cubies use a cross-shaped plastic pole and hole system for connection. While this guarantees that your build shouldn't break up, it can be difficult to add or remove pieces, particularly if you've got smaller hands, as most children do. Uh, this is particularly frustrating if you've made a mistake, so some sort of plastic wedge, we used a Lego orange brick separator, um, will come in handy and after that you won't have too many problems. Programming a Tinkerbots build is particularly pleasing. Electricity and data is sent through the twist and link system, which you can just see there, which enables the various motors and servers to work. For instance, by pressing record and then manipulating a connected twister or pivot, I can then program movement. The movement is recorded and then when I come to press play later the build will then just copy what I've just done. If this isn't the type of control that you're looking for then there's also Bluetooth. It's particularly pleasing for the roadster or racer builds as you can see in this video. However be aware that Bluetooth range is not great. If this still isn't enough there's also Arduino compatibility on the horizon where a Tinkerbots library will be available to Arduino Playground. It looks like the possibilities are endless. Tinkerbots Advanced Builder Set is a great collection, giving children the tools they need to get started with their own remote controlled projects. Lego compatibility is useful, but Tinkerbots can pretty much live without it. That's just what I think. What does Bruce think? It was really, really good. What did you like best about it? Am um, I like all of the parts of it? Find out more in our full review at makeuseof.com where you'll also find our giveaway to win your own Tinkerbots Advanced Builder Set.